in the manufacturing technology we have started the metal joining processes right so what chapter is metal joining processes and in today's session we are going to discuss on one type of welding process that is resistance welding process right so in the metal joining processes our purpose is to join two metals or two parts with help of heat generated right so our purpose is to generate the heat with help of different mechanism and with help of different concept and this heat can be utilized for joining or say for fusion and melting of two metals so that we can join two metals together right so in today's session our purpose is to discuss the concept of resistance welding and how can we do the welding with help of resistance concept right so let us start our discussion on resistance welding concept right so here i mentioned the concept and important point regarding resistance welding right so generally resistance is not useful in day to day life but in this concept resistance is fruitful it means with help of resistance we can generate the heat it means as the resistance is higher the resistance will be utilized in heat generation right so with help of resistance we can generate the heat and this heat can be utilized in welding process right so here i mentioned important point regarding the resistance welding so here we will require a resistance and a current right so with help of the heat generated we can join two parts right so here for joining of two metals we have to provide the heat right so here i mentioned the current range for any welding process so just to remember in the welding current required will be very higher right so here around thousands of degrees or say thousands of amperes and thousands of degrees temperature will be reach in welding it means here we require thousands of amperes of currents and the temperature reach in the process will be in thousands of degrees right so here i mentioned the range for the current that is around the thousands of amperes right so with help of high current we can do the welding right so here in this resistance welding our concept is with help of resistance we can generate the heat right so here i mention the concept for the resistance welding so as per my discussion current and resistance two things are very important in this process right so current will be flowing through the system and this current is very high and uh, with help of this high resistance of contact we can generate the heat right so here i mention one fundamental equation and with help of this equation we can understand our resistance welding process right so heat generated equation here i mention is i square rt it means heat generated is equal to i square rt i is the current in ampere r is the resistance and t is the time for which we allow the current or it is a time of flowing of current in the system right for example if you want to join two plates with help of this resistance concept we switch on the current and with help of the resistance between two electrodes heat will be generated and joint will be made at that particular point by passing the current for particular time duration right so this is how we can understand the concept of resistance welding right so here i mentioned the significance and the equation and different terms in the equation right so after that in the resistance welding let us start our discussion on different types under category of resistance right so resistance welding is a broad title and with help of this resistance concept there are many processes 
So here I mentioned the mainly spot welding, seam welding, butt welding and flash butt welding as per the concept of resistance welding, right? So let us start our discussion on different types of welding under category of resistance. So first and most important and most widely used process is the spot welding process, right? So what happens in spot welding and what is the concept of spot welding process? So as per the name, at the particular spot or at particular place, we can do a welding or say we can weld the metal and make a permanent joint, right? So that's why this process is known as a spot welding. Once again, I repeat, spot welding means at particular spot, we can do the welding, right? So this is the concept for the spot welding, right? So at particular place, we can join two metals. So here I mentioned important points regarding the spot weldings. So here two electrodes are used and between two electrodes, our plates to be joined can be placed, right? For example, here as mentioned in this view, two electrodes are connected with the electrical supply and by pressing two electrode and by switching on the current, we can melt our metal at that particular spot and by melting, we can make a joint at that particular spot. That's why this welding is known as a spot welding. So here two electrodes are used and between two electrodes, our plates can be placed, right? So this process is known as a resistance welding, right? So by switching on current, we can make a joint, right? So here I mentioned important point regarding this spot welding. So here resistance is important. So here we have to choose our electrode very wisely because resistance is important here, right? So an electrode should have a sufficient strength to withstand against pressure and temperature, right? So here I mentioned one important video from which we can understand this resistance welding or say spot welding process. So here for example, our purpose is to make a spot weld between two plates. So here we can put our both the plates between two electrodes and with help of the pressure and by switching on the current, we can join our parts, right? So this is very simple process of spot welding under category of resistance welding. After that, here I mentioned another process that is seam welding. So here in the spot welding, we can do or so we can make a weld at particular place. But if we want to make a linear joint or some many welding spots in the line or in the linear direction, we can go for the seam welding, right? So in the seam welding, continuous linear joint can be made with help of resistance concept, right? So let's have a look on view for the seam welding, right? So here concept used is the same resistance concept, right? So here I mentioned in this view for the seam welding here, in place of electrodes, here a wheel can be used, right? So here our wheel can be treated as an electrode, right? Or in other words, electrode is used in form of wheel, right? So by rotating the wheel at our desired place, we can make a wheel at that particular place. In simple words, if we want to join two plates, by putting a place one over another and by moving our wheel at that particular linear direction, we can make a linear wheel at that particular direction, right? So this is how seam welding can be done, right? So from this view, we can easily understand the seam welding that is under category of resistance welding, right? So this is very important process by which we can make a joint in linear direction with resistance concept, right? So this is the same building. After that, here I mentioned the butt 
welding process or say resistance butt welding process so what happens in butt welding so here i mentioned the view for the butt welding right so here by joining or say for the joining of two shaft or say two plates we can use this butt concept right so first of all we have to put our two shaft or say two rods to be joined by contact with each other and after passing the current and with help of this high contact resistance weld bead will be generated or in simple words by passing the high current at the particular joint there will be a high resistance because of this contact so due to this contact resistance there will be a melting of metal and with help of this melting we can generate the heat right so this is nothing but resistance but welding process right so in the butt welding our two rods to be joined are first kept in contact with each other and by passing of current we can do this welding right so let's have a look on this process so this process is also under category of resistance welding so here i mention this butt welding or say resistance butt welding so what happens here by putting in the contact and by passing the current what happens heat will be generated and we can make a permanent joint so here you can see from this video very clearly permanent joint will be created at that particular contact place right so this is the concept of this butt welding right so after that in the resistance welding there will be a flash butt welding right so let's discuss the flash butt welding so in the butt welding here as mentioned in this video we can join two shafts or two rods together right so after that what happens in flash butt welding or say what is the difference between the butt welding and flash butt welding so let us have a look on flash welding or say with help of flash butt welding we can also join two parts together right so here what happens so here i mentioned the view for the flash welding or so flash butt welding so here first of all we have to put our two rods with some distance or so with some gap right so for example if you want to join two shafts together both shafts are kept with some distance apart so after that what happens by switching on the high degree current or say higher ampere current what happens due to this ionization of this air gap there will be a strike of the arc from one road to another road with help of this arc transfer heat will be generated and with help of this heat we can weld our parts so after that we can move on one of the roads and we can make a fusion of both the roads and we can join two parts right so by arc transfer or say by this resistance concept we can make a permanent joint right so this is all about the concept of resistance welding and different processes under category of resistance welding thank you all of you